Hi! Welcome back to our channel! Been a while since we've done a full length video and we have so much in store for the future in this channel. So starting off, we'll be exploring the Royal Palace of Olite. In Spanish, El Palacio Real de Olite. And El Cerco de Artajona, which is translated to the Walls of Artajona. Both of them are located in Navarra, Spain. And with that said, let's begin our video. First, we're stepping back in time and visiting the gorgeous Palacio Real de Olite which is a castle palace located in the town of Olite. Also known as the Palace of the Kings of Navarra as it was one of the seats of the court of the Kingdom of Navarra. Up until its conquest by Castile in the year 1512. I can honestly say that of all the castles and palaces I've visited, this one has always been my favorite. If you want to enter the palace, they do charge a small fee which is detailed at the entrance and on their website, which we'll leave linked in the description box. There's just something about the place it's located and how majestic it is. You can see the palace from a fair distance when you start driving up and it's a sight to behold. Once you start walking into the palace and its town, you'll notice that this is a place with a lot of charm filled with history. You can do the tour on your own with an info brochure they'll provide in the ticket booth. You can also get an audio guide which has a variety of languages or your last option is to get a tour guide but I believe those are only offered in Spanish as for now. If you're visiting for the first time, I highly recommend getting either the audio tour or the tour guide. Some things you might want to know are that you have three main areas to the palace and they are the old palace which has now been turned into the national parador of Olite and offers accommodations with a medieval flair and it comes at a medium price range. This is a great option if you want to experience a different kind of vacation that lets you immerse yourself into medieval times. The second part of this palace are the ruins of St. George's Chapel, which was the king's private chapel and can be seen from the Three Crowns Tower, which is located in the new palace but sadly cannot be visited due to its poor condition. and how little is left of it. Third but not least is the main attraction, the new palace known as Palacio de Olite. This is the only area of the three main ones I've mentioned that can be visited, unless you're staying at the Parador as well, and it's the most spectacular. It was built at the beginning of the 15th century by the King of Navarra, Charles III, the noble, and his wife, Doña Leonor de Trastamara. With impressive towers, patios, gardens, and rooms, this is a palace that won't leave you indifferent. In the year 1813, General Esposimina caused a fire in the palace, reducing it to ruins during the Napoleonic French invasion to prevent its occupation from the French troops. 
Unfortunately for us, beginning in 1937, it was restored during the course of 30 years and now we get to enjoy the palace once more. If you're planning to visit the palace, I highly recommend you have a minimum of one hour to explore it. And use comfy shoes as the floor is uneven and slippery if it's raining. There's a lot of small steps and towers that you can visit, but having the right footwear is key. The palace is also accessible for people with reduced mobility, although you can't visit the palace completely. And push chairs and baby strollers are not allowed. I would also suggest you go to the bathroom right before you start your tour, as there's only one located at the entrance. There are no bathrooms inside the palace for public use. I also highly recommend you walk around the town as it's charming, and if you get hungry, they have a few pubs where you can eat or grab a snack. that lunchtime in Spain is around 2 o'clock and the pubs get busier by that time as many other places may close for the siesta. If you have time, I also recommend visiting El Cerco de Artajona, which translates to the walls of Artajona. They're about 22 minutes away on a car ride and about a 30 minute car ride from the city center of Pamplona. El Cerco de Artajona is a medieval fortress that was once a kingdom. There's data that men have lived in Artajona all the way back to the 3rd millennium BC, as is proven by the dolmens found at the entrance of the town. I highly recommend you visit the dolmens as there's something you don't see every day. Going all the way up to El Cerco, you get a full view of the towers and stone walls and once you park and walk into it, you'll find a charming town and a 13th century church with a one-in-the-world curiosity. Which is its inverted roof that you can visit. This roof had the purpose of collecting rainwater. As the area is well known for having a low rain index. If you visit the roof, you get great views of the entire town and you can spot two other regions, which are Aragon and La Rioja. This is such a charming town that is rich in history and is a joy to walk through. It's great to walk around the walls and experience the church. But with that said, we hope you liked our video. Make sure to give us a like if you did and see you in next week's video. Bye!